Hello, once again, welcome to your Jubilant Saturday, May the 13th, 2023. Mother's Day Eve. And here is part two of episode 10, 61, and we'll be doing things for love's sake. For Marvin Williams, derived from Romans 12, 9 through 18. So if you're excited about this one, I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to leave a like. Remember the like challenge. Go back to the morning, the first video of the day, and hear the explanation. But if that like challenge is not met by episode 1100, which right now will be 39 more days, if it's not met by then, it will be canceled. So don't make me, don't, I don't want to cancel it, so don't make me cancel it. But subscribe if you do, or Wait a minute. Birthdays, anniversaries, and prayer requests in the comment section below. And how was your jubilant Saturday? If you're not done with your Saturday, come back. Come back later tonight. Come back at a later time and let me know how your Saturday went because there's no other video today. So this is to be the last video. This will be the only other video today. So I have to do the birthdays and uh, like I do my normal. Then I have to do tell you how was your day, and then um, let me know what your mother Mother's Day Sunday will be like tomorrow. Because Mother's Day is tomorrow. Hope you hope you treat your mother, grandmother, or some some other motherly woman. To a great time tomorrow. You show the respect you should and things. I sometimes don't do it as well as I should, but I still, I still do things. I have to, I have to take my mother to doctor's appointments. So See, like every every time we turn around, we got to go to a doctor over here, and we got to go to the doctor over here, and it's like I never get to do anything on my own, so. I'm going to try, I, hopefully the day I went this morning, hopefully in just a few, IRL, just a few hours, I'm going to try to go out and go to work because I've got everything cleared with the shopping company, Instacart. All I got to do is pull it up, go, uh, what do I call that? Be, I'll show it I'm available. They'll bring up a list of uh, orders that are are currently waiting, and I'll pick or I could pick one of the best ones that I could do, and go and go to that go to that one store shop, pick up the pick up the items, go over and run my card if I have to. I might not have to. I might not have to go through. It'd be some type, some stores won't accept the online payment. But hey, each delivery I make so much each delivery, and then I probably get so much for a full week. So, but I have to work like I I think I think it said you got to do three, at least three orders before you're able to. If it. If it's a short order, I could take some of the sh do two or three short orders. Especially if it's at the same store, I go ahead and do the, the short orders at the same store for two or three people, and then I could take them and boom, boom, boom. And then I'll have start having money of my own. So, <laughs> but but pray for me about that. I'm, I'm hoping to go out. IRL later today, later just a few hours from now. Try to go out right after nine o'clock. Wait till after nine to do it because some sub stores are open till not till nine ten o'clock. So some stores, it's Instacart. They don't work with Walmart because Walmart has their own shopper, so you didn't get kit. But I think they do Target and they do most of the other stores. So. If it's a familiar store, I'll, I'll pick it up and go with it. And hopefully there's like two or three at the same store. 
so I can, I mean, they're short. There's like, like 10, 10 items per order or something like that. I could do it. And I have to use, I'll have to use my phone to scan items to tell you I got that I've got that one like a checklist like some of them you could just say you found the item and it will go in and then um some of them you have to actually scan the item to get it to register so that's the way I I saw a demo order on the thing I pulled it up just to look to see what it was and it showed you a list of items and there was some that you could just hit. I, I found that one. Right. But then there was some you had to scan. I, I can't do that. I ain't got no, nothing like that to scan. So, so I know that's the way it is. And some stores don't accept the online payment. And so I have a payment, a little, a little debit card that I will use. I'll go up there and I guess scan it through. The system, I guess. I'll scan each item, or I'll have like a barcode on my order list that I'll scan it, and then it'll come up, and you have to run the card. It's a company card, so it's only it's only to use on orders that you can't. Pay, the The store didn't accept the online payment, so you have to have the in store payment. I guess. I don't know. I don't know how that part works. I'll have to ask somebody about that. Especially when I'm in the store shopping, I'll have to go to customer service and ask them ask them if they've interacted with anybody from Instacart before. So, But I'm, I'm sorry about rambling about that for too long. Sorry about that. So, but subscribe if you do, turn on notifications, share the video, chat with your family and friends. Help me reach the 50 mark first, which is still seven more to go to hit that mark. So, um, my three year anniversary is May 27th. Um, one. Three years of videos is 11.06 or 7. I'm not sure now. Um, and then hopefully by August the 1st or the 15th at the latest, I want to be at 100 subscribers by then. So basically the end of summer, August the 1st or 15th, I would love to be at 100 by then. So give you the whole summer to get me at 100. So. If you do that for me, I greatly appreciate you more than you'll ever imagine. So without further ado, let's do things for love's sake. Marvin writes, running a marathon is about pushing yourself physically and mentally. For one high school runner, however, completing on a cross-country race is all about pushing someone else. In every practice and meet, 14-year-old Susan Bur Bergman, Bergman, B E R G E M A N pushed his older brother, Jeffrey, in his wheelchair. When Jeffrey was 22 months old, he went into cardiac arrest, leaving him with severe brain damage and cere cerebral palsy. Today, Susan sacrifices personal running goals so Jeffrey might compete with her. What love and sacrifice. Wow. So the Apostle Paul had love and sacrifice in mind when he encouraged his readers to be devoted to one another, Romans 12, 10. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. That's what verse 10 says. He knew that the believers in Rome were struggling with jealousy, anger, and sharp dis disagreements. Verse 18. So he encouraged them to let divine love rule their hearts. This kind of love rooted in Christ's love would fight for the highest possible good of others. It would it would be sincere and it would lead to generous sharing, verse 13. Those who love this way are eager to consider others more worthy of honor 
than themselves. Verse 16. So as believers in Jesus, we're running a race of love while helping others finish the race too. And though it can be difficult, it brings honor to Jesus. So for love's sake, let's rely on him to empower us to love and serve others. And that, about, real quick mental note about that running a race. When, when my, my home church, when, uh, when I was younger, we had the Word of Life, which I went to World Life Bible Institute. We had the World Life Bible Clubs in our church. And we had the, the young young kids that used to call them the younger the younger group called us Olympians, the Word of Life Olympians, and the uh, m- our little theme song for the Olympians. It was it was pretty neat, but it, it started out saying "Running the race for Jesus, Olympians are we. Christ Himself is with us." Leading to victory. Hey, hey, hey. Holding forth the word of life. Olympians are we. In his seventh order. Won't you join our chorus? Olympians are we. Hey. But it, it starts off running the race for Jesus. And that's what we're talking about, running the race. Or running running the race of life. So... <laughs> So what does it mean for you to love others as God loves them? And how does God reveal how does Jesus reveal that love is more than emotion? Let me know in the comments your, your thoughts by putting Q1 or Q2 when you're responding. And it doesn't necessarily have to be your answer. It, somebody else could say, give you an idea of something and you can use that. But ponder those questions by saying this. God of love, for love's sake and your glory, help me to consider others before I consider myself. So so your Bible reading today is 2 Kings 17 and 18, and in John chapter 3, verses 19 through 36. So yesterday we read John chapter 3, 1 through 18. So that would, that, that part would consider 316, the famous for God so loved the world verse yesterday. And then now we're reading the rest of chapter three. Yeah. So yesterday we read the the famous 316. Today we read the rest of chapter three. And I've read most of chapter three. And it's a a pretty good read. The, The whole chapter three itself. It's a pretty good read. Talking about Nicodemus. Most most of the chapter talks about Nicodemus. So, but coming up tomorrow on your Mother's Day Sunday, May the fourteenth, twenty twenty three, we're gonna be talking about part two of episode ten sixty two, and, lo- and loving and learning about loving leadership from Lisa M. Samra, derived from First Thessalonians two seven through twelve. So another, something else talking about mothers. Because I just looked at the very beginning and talking about a mama bear. So something else talking about motherly, motherly idea. That's the way the book should do. They should have lined up the days they know it's going to be a holiday. They should put a, devote, a devotion in there leading toward what the holiday is. Like 4th of July, they should mention something about 4th of July. Um, each and every holiday, they should they should know ahead of time when they, they, they print that book of the holidays that are in those months what, and have, have it lined up, a devotion talking about, or it doesn't have to talk about the holiday, but to mention it right there at the beginning. That's all I ask, just to say. So... In case I do I do make a mistake and not mention it at the beginning. I, oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Today is such and such. So that's why I said tomorrow's Mother's Day. And, eat, and both of those tomorrow are... Um, the weekend one ain't like that, but hey. 
But speaking of the weekend um thing, we're gonna be talking about part two of the weekend series, Fresh Air, focusing on moments of fresh faith. And we're gonna be discussing day by day, beginning with Isaiah twenty nine nineteen from the NLT. I'll be sure to read what my my Bible says. Our recommended reading is Psalm ninety verses thirteen through seventeen. Our turning points from Jo. Josiah Condor, J-O-S-I-A-H-C-O-N-D-E-R, Condor. I guess that's how it's pronounced. And then our weekend reading is 2 Chronicles 21 through 28. So I read 21, 22, 23, and 24 today, and then read 25, 26, 27, 28 tomorrow. Split it up four and four. So... But, so. and then like I said, so I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on trusting God. And he'll keep you safe. And all you're saying doing 2023 and beyond. And until tomorrow, peace out, everybody. <whistles> so long, farewell. Come back tomorrow for Mother's Day Sunday. And we'll be talking about, first off, um, 162 of the, uh, I guess it's two or three. I'm not sure. I'll have to figure that one up tomorrow. It's either two or three. I, I think it's two, 162. But we're going to be talking about the elect lady beginning with second, second John 1, 1 from Henry M. Morris. And that'll be at eight o'clock. Then at 145, we're going to be learning about loving leadership. From Lisa M. Samer, derived from 1 Thessalonians 2, 7 through 12. And then at 7 is part 2 of the weekend series, Fresh Air, focusing on memories of the fresh faith with day by day. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to get to them right now, as soon as I get done with these, but Because...